Welcome to Sunday School, everybody. What a joy, what a blessing for us to be together. We continue this month of October to learn about Moses. Oh my goodness, Moses is so amazing. And there's so much that you and I can learn from Moses. So grab our Bibles and the stories today are coming from the book of Exodus. Exodus is the second book of the Bible, the second book of the in the Old Testament. This story comes from the third chapter of Exodus. And this is about God speaking to Moses. When Moses was all grown up, he saw the way the Egyptians were treating the Israelites. The Israelites were made to work very hard. They were not paid for their work and were treated badly. Moses became angry. He hurt an Egyptian who was treating Israelites badly. Moses was afraid. He ran away from Egypt and went to live in a place called Midian. While Moses was in Midian, he became a shepherd. He took care of sheep. Moses got married and had a family. Many years later, Moses was taking care of sheep. Suddenly, God appeared. How did God appear to Moses? There was a flame of fire on a bush. But the bush did not burn up. God appeared to Moses in the flame. I am God. I have seen how my people are being mistreated in Egypt. I am going to rescue my people. I am sending you, Moses, to set my people free. Moses didn't know what to think. How could he set a lot of people free? God told Moses, I will be with you, Moses. You will perform miracles. When you do, Pharaoh will let my people go free. Moses listened to God's instructions. And now let's enjoy this video about this amazing story about God speaking to Moses. How? Through a burning bush. But the bush wasn't even burning. It was a flame sitting on a bush. Hey everyone, I'm Carly. Did you know that God comes to people in the Bible in many different ways? Sometimes there are angels in the Bible, other times there are clouds, and sometimes God's voice can be heard directly. However God decides to communicate, the people experiencing God's presence are in awe. It's so cool that God can show up in so many ways. In this Bible story, God appears to Moses in a tree that's covered in fire but it's not burning up. Imagine a tree that's covered in fire, but still standing tall. The tree wasn't burning into ash. Wow, I've never seen that. If you've ever seen a campfire, you know that fire burns things, but this fire was special. When Moses saw the bush, he was very curious and in awe. He carefully went to see what it was about. When he got there, something amazing happened. God called Moses by his name, Moses, Moses. God then told Moses to take off his shoes because this is holy ground. Even if Moses was a little afraid of the fire before, now he knew that it was God calling his name. Next, God told Moses that he was going to help free God's people from slavery. God called Moses to be a leader. This is a major task. Moses was overwhelmed because he knew that this is such a big responsibility and he didn't think he was prepared. God reminded Moses that God will be with him and that he didn't need to worry. While I've never seen a fire that didn't burn up what it was touching, I do know what it's like to be asked to do something that seems scary. One year, my softball coach was deciding who would be team captain. I wasn't the best player, so I wasn't expecting to be chosen. When the team met to hear my coach's decision, she called my name. I was so surprised. Why would my coach choose me? But I also felt honored that she had called me. 
When I felt nervous, I remembered that even though I was a leader, I got to lead with the help of my coach and my team, and I wasn't alone. Moses didn't know everything, but he knew that God would always be with him. That was enough for him to say yes and follow God's direction. Now, it's your turn to wonder. And now, our wonder question, boys and girls. Why do you think God came as a fiery bush? Why did God come to Moses? Why did God go to Moses as a fiery bush? Thanks for being part of Sunday School. It's so much fun to love the Bible stories. You are dear, dear, dear and precious to all of us at church. Thank you.